Want to say something? We're here today to remember Dal, a person who fought for what he believed in. Dal dreamed of a future where every person could own a piece of land, where they could grow fruit and live in harmony with one another. He never saw that dream come true. And maybe neither will we. But those of us who have pledged to carry on will do so in his name. Dal, you were more than a friend. You were an inspiration. No danger. And what about Brady, the child of Zoot? Why were you willing to put her life at risk? For the last time, Supreme Mother, you were not in any danger. I had plenty of guards. I know the rebels better than you do. What if I had been captured? I can't see why they'd want to harm you or the baby. There'd be no point. I'm sorry, what is she doing here? I didn't call for room service. May is a loyal servant to the cause. She has proved herself on many occasions. Oh, I bet she has. So, you knew what was going to happen. You dared to trick the Supreme Mother. She knew nothing. I sent her along for your protection. Oh, oh, well then, lucky me. I'd have died before I let anyone lay a hand on you or the child. I'll come back when you are rested. It's worse than I thought. They make you learn all this stuff about the great Zoot. What about him? How he saved the world. They make you recite it all from memory, and you mustn't get a word wrong. What else? Then there's the miracles. The miracles? Believe me, you don't want to know. <laughs> Zoot. From what I hear about his dress sense, it's a miracle he didn't die of shame. Don't let them hear you talk like that. He's coming back from the dead. Oh, it's all the rage. When? Quite soon. Hi. Oh, hi, Casey. What's up? I just heard the news, that's what. What news? Listen to her. She sells a sound that acts like it was nothing. Oh, that. <laughs> so, Chloe, what'd you have for dinner? Did you bring us anything back? There's gotta be a few crumbs left. Hey, ease off, Casey. No, it's okay. Let him talk. I don't want to talk to you. What are you doing down here, anyway? I can go anywhere I like. No, you can't. Because we don't want you here. Why don't you go and hang out with your chosen buddies? OK, OK, I'm going. You were a bit hard on her. So? I thought you guys were angry at her, too. Well, yeah, but it's different. Oh, I get it. It's OK for you to tell her how you feel, but not me. Casey, listen. No, I've heard enough. How come everything I always say is wrong? Do you think we should let him in on it? Who? KC? Me neither. Is she okay? She won't talk. Not to me, anyway. Why don't you try? Maybe she'll open up to you.
should never have let Dal go off on his own like that. Dal knew the risks. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You? Getting you involved again, making you care. I never stopped caring. I just tried not to think about the past. And this has brought it all back. You knew Dal a long time. We were neighbors. Went to the same school. He was younger, but you wouldn't know it. Dal was older than his years. He was always telling me about his plans for the future. In those days, he wanted to be a doctor. Like his parents. Guess the virus cured him of that. When you've seen so many people die and there's no medicine to help. You know what the worst part is? Now I know how you felt. What do you mean? When he thought I was dead. I could have spared him that. Amber. No, please. Don't break, please. I have to be alone for a while. Sure. So what's the story? We're just gonna hang around here all day I'm open? Have you no respect? So someone died. Look, it's not the end of the world. Don't go getting all mushy on me, Lex. I like Dal. He was a great kid. I just think we should remember the rest of our friends. I mean, after all, they are still alive. Obrey, oh, should we plan our next move? Something tells me there won't be a next move. Why do you say that? Well, put yourself in Amber's shoes. Okay, she's just lost a good friend. She doesn't want to lose anymore. You know what my guess is? She'll go back and live in the woods. Then we'll be back to square one. You wanted to see me? You broke your promise. You said you'd get me Bray. It nearly worked. Nearly isn't good enough. Every time he is nearly captured, he grows stronger. I thought you'd forgiven me. Oh? Well, you protected me back there. If Trudy found out that I set her up... There's no need for her to know. Besides, it might be useful to have someone close to the Supreme Mother to... Spy on her? To keep me informed as to her state of mind. <sighs> Well, then let me do it properly. I could be her handmaiden, her confidant, be there in her room from the moment she opens her eyes. Why would you want to do that? For her own good, of course. How do I know I can trust you? You can't. I'll betray you when you least expect it. I'll inform the Supreme Mother. You start immediately. More lives will be lost before it's over. You still want to help us? If Eagle wishes it. You put a lot of trust in your leader. What about your council? One thing I've learned these past few months. The stronger the leadership, the stronger the democracy. If Eagle Amber puts her mind to it, she'll win this battle for you. You love her, don't you? The day I found her, I was leaving the Giants for good. The tribe was breaking up. Too many big ideas, too many voices, all arguing. She brought the tribe together. She's, she's more than just a leader. She's the heart and soul of the tribe. You still didn't answer my question. I've loved her right from the start. She said she needed some time. I didn't ask her what it was she was trying to get over. But just lately, I'd begun to think, just maybe there was some hope. Then you showed up. I even helped bring you together. In some ways, I wish you hadn't. All I've bought her is pain. Are you really that blind? What? The woman's crazy about you. 
Did she say that? She didn't have to. Look, don't ask me what to do. I'm all out of advice. From now on, you're on your own. I already have enough help, thank you. I believe your other maid has been dismissed. Has she? I see. As usual, I have no say in the matter. It is the Guardian's will. Zoot's will. That's all we ever say around here, Brady, isn't it? If it's something we don't like. Oh, to work for you, Supreme Mother, will be a great pleasure for me. Yeah. Really? Yes. I can't imagine a greater honor than to serve you and the princess. Well, that's good then, because the princess is in need of some attention right away. <laughs> attention? Mm. Yes. She's filled her royal diaper. Have you, princess? You're by far the best pupil I have ever taught. A couple more lessons, and you'll be ready for initiation. It's a pity Patsy doesn't feel the same way. She's really upset. She's a little threat, and that's all. This is what you want, isn't it? I don't know. Selene, what do you think? If Luke says you're ready? Of course. I wouldn't make you do it if I thought you couldn't cope. Zoot be praised. Praise be to Zoot. Ooh. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to Chloe. How does she do it? She's the best pupil ever. Come on, guys, let's leave her alone. You and Alice should apologize to Chloe. Oh. What is it? Nothing. I'm fine. Selene, what's wrong? I, I just found a little twinge, that's all. Here. No, you poor thing. It must be all that rich food she's eating with the hooded ones. Give it a break, Alice. She's pregnant. Ryan! Well, it's time they all knew anyway. Oh, Selene, that's wonderful news. Well, why didn't you tell us? Uh, you've all got enough to worry about without this. A baby isn't a worry, Selene. New life is always a sign of hope. Can I feel it? There's nothing there to feel yet, but sure. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Sure is. Look, Chloe, I'm sorry we're so hard on you before. That's OK. Just remember, we can't afford to fight amongst ourselves. Well, where is KC? I'm sure he'd like to hear Selena Ryan's news. <laughs> Can I talk to you? If you want to know my plans for getting into the mall, I don't have any. That's OK. We're all a bit jumpy. Best thing to do is rest. Try telling that to Lex. So what is it you want to talk about? Well, actually, I thought you might want to talk. Oh, come on, you're not the first, you know. The first? Well, to have his heart broken, especially where Bree's involved. Seems he's better than the Guardian at wrecking people's lives. Yours included by the sound of it. That's why you tricked your friends, isn't it? Pretending that Amber was dead? Haven't you done stupid things for love? I guess not. Anyway, you should be grateful to me. If I hadn't given Amber a premature burial, you would never have met her. What's your point? We both lost out. The only difference between us is that I can't win Bray back. I've lost him for good. Whereas I... You've still got time. They're not together yet. Which means she can't decide. Maybe this is your chance to do something a little stupid. What do you want me to do? Talk to her. Tell her my idea. An all-out attack on the mall. A sneak attack under cover of dark. But it has to be tonight. Why tonight? Lex, Amber's grieving. So am I. Inside? Look, that is the whole point. They won't expect an attack now. Bad taste, right? Doesn't anyone want revenge for Dal? He was one of us. Bray. I have come to a decision. 
But I wanted to discuss it with you first, before I told the others. Why me? You mean a lot to me. In many ways, I, I don't deserve your friendship. Amber. No, please, let me finish. This is hard. I'm going to go away for a while. Away? But I'll be back, with an army, hopefully, or as many as I can muster. Listen, there are tribes like us all over the southern province. Most of them have turned their backs on city life, but they don't know the threat they're facing. Neither did I, and that's why I should be the one to rally them to our side. Let me come with you. No, the mall rats need you now. I won't be missed. Amber's dead, remember? What do we do in the meantime? Keep the pressure up. Hit and run. Never let the Guardian think he's won. And when I get back, we'll finish him for good. What about us? Where does this leave you and me? You're my trusted friend, and I love you. But we're different people now. I really think this is the best plan for everyone, Bray. I I'm sure of it. I'll go along with it. But I don't think we're different people. Amber didn't die up there, and I don't care what you call yourself. You will always be Amber to me. Still scrubbing that floor? I thought I told you you could go get something to eat. You must have forgotten. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, since you are still here, perhaps you wouldn't mind putting Brady to bed for me. We have been playing so hard all day, and I am just exhausted. Well, that's if you don't mind. I'll be glad to. Oh, thank you. You know, this is working out really well. Oh, and... When you're finished, I'll have my bedtime drink. But say to Brady first. There's no rush. Mm -hmm. You okay? I haven't had any more pains. I'm fine. Ryan, this is really gonna happen, isn't it? Don't worry. By the time the baby comes, things might be a bit different around here. You really think Bray and Amber stand a chance against the Chosen? Don't you? I guess, but... What? Trudy said I'd be looked after, and... Don't you think the Morris can look after you? I don't know. I'm so confused and... <sighs> At least the baby will be free, not born a slave. You want me to work with Bray? Is that a problem? No, but he's already got Ebony and Lex. I have to do this on my own. I told you, just a small number of our tribe for security. Eagle, I think you're running. From what, exactly? From your feelings. You and I have always been honest with each other. You can tell me if it's Bray you want. I don't want anybody. I'm doing this to defeat the Chosen, because it's the only way. If you have a better plan, let's hear it. I'm sorry. I knew the moment the mall rats walked into our camp, everything would change. And I didn't want that pride. I liked my life the way it was. You made a promise to me once, and you're afraid of breaking that. But there's no need. Things have moved on. I can't choose between you. It's too late. You've made your choice. Even if you can't admit it to yourself, you've made your choice. Bray once asked me for this. At the time, he still thought you were dead. I told him I could never give it up, and I never would. But I can give it back to you. It's only fair. Pray. Please? Don't say a word.
visiting. The nights I've dreamed of lying here next to you like this, knowing it could never happen. Me too. When I think of all the time I've wasted. Don't. Bray, what about Danny? I have to find her somehow. If she's still alive. And then what? Then I have to tell her about you and me. But, you know, I think she's always known how much I've loved you, Amber. What's the matter? It'll be okay, I promise. No, it's, it's not that, Bray. The thing is, I think I should still go. It's still the best plan we have. I've been thinking about that, too. I'm so scared. I couldn't bear to lose you again. You won't. This time it's for keeps. How long? I can't say. I'll try to get word to you. Be careful. No, you be careful. You're the ones in danger, not me. And thank you. This is a really stupid plan. You know that. Thanks, Lex. I'll miss you, too. Do I get a hike? <laughs> no need to wish you luck, Amber. You always pull through. I'll see you in my dreams. 